Hey guys, Suns fan here with a very special video. So I don't know if you guys saw this on Reddit a couple days ago, but some people have been data mining the artifact uh, game, uh, which just means they're going into the files to see what the developers have been working on, so to speak. Didn't really want to make a video on it because nothing was super concrete, but there's, there's a cool little puzzle mode that is not technically available yet, but there's a guy on Reddit named Anamade who created a puzzle of his own, which I have to say is super cool. It's called Smash the Ancient. Uh, I'll leave the, this, the link in the description so you can actually figure out how to do it yourself if you want. But essentially the rules are for this specific uh, mode. The AI towers have 6,000 HP. The Ancient has 5,700 HP. Essentially you just need to figure out a way to one-shot the Ancient. Uh, if you go past that one turn, you lose. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the game. I have done this myself, took a few tries. Uh, it's pretty cool though. You do get blue green, what, what's that? Yeah, the old Sagittine, the old ball and chains right here. <laughs> she helped me out to figure out how to exactly do this. Like so this is against the bot. He's not gonna be doing anything. He's at three mana and we're told that his entire hand is four mana or above. So he just can't do anything. So we have the old blue-green combo with a little bit of black in between. Uh, you can scroll through all the cards here. This is your entire deck in your hand. Uh, so this is how, and of course, this might not be the best way to do it, but it was enough to actually successfully kill the Ancient, which as you can see, 5,700 HP, not even, can't even fit on the freaking screen here. So first things first, we want to do the obvious thing, which is stars align three times. And we shall go to the blue section and put down our incarnation. Shocker, I know. We actually do need this to get the kill. Uh, before I forget, there is one tower barrage that we do want to put onto the enemies. Because we want to do a huge prey on the weak, right? That's kind of the, the one-shot combo in general. These other lanes are irrelevant. They actually do not matter at all. So this entire hand is for this lane. So first things first, I want to put my big boy creeps down right away so that I have good access to the emissaries right next to the heroes. So I'm just going to put them down here. I fucked up already? Why? Fuck! All right. May have screwed up here. <laughs> we'll see if it matters, though. It might not matter. So the reason I fucked up is because <laughs> the emissary has three armor, so he will not be damaged. But it's just one unit. We'll see if it matters or not. If, if it does matter, then I will recreate this video, unfortunately. <laughs> all right, we're going to put down all the big boys. The animations will take a while. It took me, it took us, what, uh, three tries? Three full tries to do this? It'd be funny if we just can't do it again. Maybe we just got lucky. Put down the Thunder Horses. So once we have all our big boys down, I'll start talking about what we actually want to do. So the idea, of course, if you've watched any blue-green combos in the past, is to do the old Diabolic Revelation, right? To damage all your units and then prey on the weaks. But first we want to make sure we have all the possible units out. So just need to put all the minions out right away. Uh, one thing that I kind of ran into trouble with, these Prowler Vanguards. I do not want to place them next to each other because they just end up giving each other armor. So we'll just do this. This is fine. Just want to space them out just a bit. I'm not sure how much this actually matters in the grand scheme of things of doing 5,700 damage, but we're going to play it safe. Better safe than sorry. Uh, these Smeevil Blacksmiths die right away to the first Diabolic, so I want to wait for the second. And then the Vool Martyrs are kind of like the finishing. After all my units are created as much as possible, I want to use my last Diabolic on these so they die and buff everything. Um, and the reason that this armor one was a big deal is because these no accidents, we're actually using them to hurt our own emissaries. Which this one, as you can see, will not actually take damage, which is a bit frustrating. So we're going to be left with a no accident for... For real, no reason. Uh, hopefully it doesn't matter. We'll we'll see. 
Um, Ar Arm of the Rebellion is one of the last things we'll end up doing as well. Okay, so what are we missing? Oh yeah, dimensionals. Come and serve the dire. Very good. Dire has need of you. Fight for the dire and so Venoms. There's like a random better late than never in here, which kind of confused me. Not sure how important it actually is, but we put it down anyway. Okay, so I think we're ready for a Diabolic, right? This no accident in my hand is pissing me off right now, but that's okay. All right, so first Diabolic. Then we immediately prey on the weak. Kaboom! All right, now... We don't want an Emissary because it gives damage, right? So we have these Rumusks in our hand, which is important. We can put down our Smeevil Blacksmiths now, by the way. They give armor to the, the heroes that we have, which doesn't matter now. I don't think it ever matters, actually. These are just literally three units, really. Then we're going to Rumusk once. Everything has plus three HP, which means they survive another... Diabolic Revelation. Which will be, so the units that we've lost, we were very confused by this. I was like, how am I losing units? Of course, it's in these other lanes, which are irrelevant. All right, Prey on the Weak. We only have one Diabolic and one Prey on the Weak left, so we got to be careful here. Okay, so we're going to Rumusk, right? And now... I do believe we place down our three Vlu Martyrs. We want them to die, of course, because they do give a 1-1 buff to everything. I don't think this last Rumusk matters at all. All right, so now we shall Diabolic. They shall die and get buffs to everything. Beautiful. One more Prey on the Weak. It gets laggy. That's perfectly normal. All right. Let's scroll down here a bit to our... Is that the right way? <laughs> I've lost everything. Okay, here we go. This is correct. Eventually. Okay. This goddamn emissary not getting damaged. Very annoying. But at the end of the day, this is like, what, three extra units? That's not going to make a difference. Um, okay, so now we can just arm the rebellion and then buff with emissaries and that's it these other cards aren't really needed so uh yeah let's arm oof i have a an rtx 2080 ti and it's struggling maybe this is cpu based i don't know okay so now we buff right am i missing anything Rumust doesn't matter anymore uh a lot of these cards you don't even need We'll see. This will take a while to buff everything. We also have thunderstorms to clear the enemies out to be able to hit the tower. Although, in our experience, it didn't end up mattering for this specific puzzle. All right. Are we going to make it? So we need 1,400. So we need this to be 5,000 exactly or more. And we'll definitely have enough. If not, then we fucked up. This one emissary. This will be the end of me. And I'm sure there's like a ton of other ways to actually do this. Ooh, we're actually a bit short, it looks like. Luckily, we do have some bolts. That's an insurance policy. <laughs> Heck, that's crazy. It ended up mattering. Yeah. Maybe my math is just bad. Maybe it actually will be enough. Yeah. So when we just we just got done doing this like 10 minutes ago, 10 minutes before we started making this video, and we had way overkill at this point. So we did mess up a little bit, uh, which, you know, it's kind of whatever. We can bolt three times for fun. And we can... No, oh, we have enough now. We can also just Thunderstorm for fun. 
I actually want to use the snow axe and it's bothering me. There we go. Okay. And we have the overkill. So puzzle successfully completed. Maybe not as clean as we had hoped, but still, I absolutely love these kind of puzzles. I, I can't remember the game. I was playing another card game that had something similar. I was just very enamored with, you know, these one turn kills or how to figure out how to kill somebody on this turn. Uh, cool little interactions with you know specific mechanic which since there's so many cool mechanics and artifact i think there's a lot of stuff that a lot of cool puzzles people can create but either way that is the end of this puzzle hopefully you guys enjoyed thank you to the creator again his name is animade i'm probably butchering that but again the link of the reddit thread is in the description so let us know what you think and tell us how much damage you guys did because you probably could do more than me at this point all right goodbye say bye Louder. Bye. Bye. <laughs>